Meanwhile, across the country, in many respects, what happened, and this has been an ongoing effort, maybe before Dylan Roof, but certainly uh, in the wake of uh, Dylan Roof going in and killing people in a black church. The mayors of Baltimore and Lexington, Kentucky, uh, said on Monday they'd push ahead with plans to remove Confederate statues. Officials in Memphis, Tennessee, and Jacksonville, Florida, announced new initiatives on Monday at taking down Confederate monuments. And Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam, a Republican, urged lawmakers to rid the state's capital of a bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest, a Confederate general and an early member of the KKK. Meanwhile, in Durham, North Carolina, outside a courthouse, protesters came in there and basically pulled down a statue. Here it is. There it is, um, a statue of, I guess it was a, just a, um, a generic Confederate inf in uh, infantry man uh, pulled down. Uh, as of April, 60 symbols of the Confederacy have been removed or renamed across the United States in 2015, uh, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. New Orleans, as you know, earlier this year had to do it in the, the middle of the night. These, um, the uh, Carl Jones, chief of heritage operations for the Sons of the Confederate Veterans, said um, this. Where does it stop? The Egyptian pyramids were built by slaves. Do we tear those down? Now, I, for one, actually don't feel that people should be going out and vandalizing these things. I think they should be taken down and moved, shouldn't be destroyed. They should be moved into a place so that people for future generations can understand why they were moved, why these statues are somewhat of a disgrace. I think that's important. You don't want to erase the history you want to show how we have moved past at least in terms of the way that we view history. We've moved past honoring this uh, rebellion in service of slavery to like and and more importantly the era when these statues went up which was really celebrating not the exploits of the Civil War, but rather the ability to roll back Reconstruction-era laws and introduce Jim Crow. And so it's, it's not analogous, obviously, because these, weren't, these statues weren't built by slaves. They are... They are celebrating the repression of people and the enslavement of people. And then also it turns out that the Egyptian archaeologists uh, say the tombs found there, the Great Pyramids, prove they were built by free workers, not slaves. But even if it were the case, um, and if he wants to know where it ends, I would say, at least from my perspective, with taking down all the Confederate symbols and putting them in, you know, you want to even have a museum of bad ideas. <laughs> uh, in that, I'm down with. What, if, what are we going to do now? Pull down the pyramids? I mean, it just never ends.
Hashtag double standards. Hashtag unfair. Maybe we should, though, if Egypt doesn't play the cards. You know, yeah, how we maybe want. we should. Maybe we'll be telling. But General Sisi's a great guy. As long as he says good things about the, me, I'm down with the it. The only thing keeping me from full Nazism is my narcissism and fondness for certain Middle Eastern dictators. How can I fully embrace racism when the Saudi royal family exists? They're great guys. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.